everyone let's continue the chapter biomolecules so today's topic is nucleic acid so from the biology you know what is nucleic acid and the main two types of nucleic acid you know it is dna and rna the two important nucleic acids is dna and rna deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid and here what we will focus means the chemical composition that's what we will focus on hydrolysis dna and rna will produce a pentose sugar a five carbon sugar and then a phosphoric acid or we can say phosphate group and a nitrogen containing base so these are the three things released by the hydrolysis of dna or rna uh, a five a pentose sugar phosphoric acid and a nitrogen containing base and uh, in case of this dna the pentose sugar present in dna is beta 2 deoxy ribose and in rna which is beta d ribose generally we can say this pentose sugar is ribose but this is exactly beta d 2 deoxy ribose the pentose sugar in dna and in rna it is beta d ribose so this is the structure of beta d ribose okay you can see here it's a five carbon uh, ring and like the fructose it is arranged in terms of furan five membered heterocyclic compound furan it is arranged and uh, one this is the first position then second third fourth and this is the fifth carbon and coming to this beta d 2 deoxy ribose means the second position some changes happens to the second position second position it was hoh in case of beta d ribose coming to beta d 2 deoxy ribose one of the oxygen is removed and here we will get hh bond only so this is called beta d 2 deoxy ribose and you have to draw the structure to your book and this is the pentose sugar present in dna and rna next thing the nitrogen containing base the nitrogen containing base present in dna and rna adenine guanine cytosyl are common in these two dna and rna contains common three nitrogen bases adenine guanine and cytosine but the different one is dna contains thiamine and the rna which contains uracil and here what is important means the structure of these four not four five nitrogen bases are given in the textbook and you have to study how to draw that structure of these five nitrogen bases okay so by looking to the textbook you have to copy that structure to your book these adenine guanine cytosine thymine and uracil and next thing is nucleoside next content is nucleoside so uh, nucleoside means these nitrogen base okay nitrogen base of this uh, dna or rna plus that pentose sugar nitrogen base plus that pentose sugar that combination is called nucleoside so here you can see this is the pentose sugar and in this first position the oh group will be replaced with the nitrogen base and this structure is known as nucleoside just understand what is nucleoside from the first position the oh group is removed and where the nitrogen base are is attached this form is called nucleoside and one more is there that is nucleotide what is nucleotide to this nucleoside if phosphate group is attached that is po42 minus that phosphate group is attached to this nucleoside that is called nucleotide just understand the difference between nucleoside and nucleotide nucleoside means that pentose sugar plus the nitrogen containing base and to the nucleoside phosphate groups is attached that is called nucleotide so here you can see instead of the ch2oh the hydrogen is replaced and where the phosphate group is attached okay so phosphate group is attached by replacing the hydrogen in ch2oh and this is known as what this is called nucleotide and how a two nucleotides are joined or is it possible for the combination of two nucleotide so nucleotides can combine they'll combine through a phosphodiester linkage that bonding between two nucleotide is known as phospho 
diester linkage. So in this way, actually, the two nucleotides are combined. So this is one nucleotide which combines with the other, and how they are connected means the connection is between the fifth carbon and the third carbon. Fifth carbon of one nucleotide is connected with the third carbon of other. So you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, this is the fifth carbon which is connected to the third carbon through a phosphodiester linkage. This linkage is called phosphodiester linkage. So you have to copy these diagram to your book. So children, uh, that's all from the chapter biomolecules. So go through the chapter from the beginning onwards and uh, draw all the diagrams and uh, study how to draw all the diagram, especially the structure of glucose, fructose, then gluconic acid, saccharic acid, etc. Its fissure structure as well as the Harvard structure, then cyclic structure and finally this nucleotide uh, linkage that is the phosphodiester linkage. Okay. So thank you.